Welcome back to United USA. Thanks for tuning in. Check this out. Well, we got a huge red flag for you today. They're saying that Angela is officially dead of heat exposure, but yet they're refusing to release the full report and the indicators of actually what organ failure or how she died of heat exposure. All right, so what do we got? All right, so uh, Crime Online um, has been helpful in also staying on this case just like I have. Um, I've got information on a couple of videos that I posted out of the 15 videos, 16 videos I've made about this. I guess this would be number 17 in four weeks. Anyway, um, and they're very detailed. Or uh, Ellen uh, Killeran, I think is how you say her name there. Um, and all those guys at Crime Online, they're awesome. So, all right, check this out. So it says that the Arizona Medical Examiner has made a ruling in the death of a young woman who was found dead on Camelback Mountain last month. 30 days from today is when it was. Um, online case, it says the records show that Maricopa County Ex Medical Examiner's Office determined a 31-year-old Angela Chimonte of Massachusetts died on July 30th of environmental heat exposure with a manner of death listed in the accident. Here's the problem with that. There is nothing, nada, nothing listed for record to contributory cause of her death. They're not going to release that yet, or they're saying they haven't released it yet, or they're saying the full report is not ready yet. Well, what's, what's the difference? Not ready yet, not released yet. The point is, is it's been a month and they're choosing in my personal opinion, they are choosing not to release it. So if somebody dies, right? Think about this, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody dies of any type of reason, there's going to be a reason behind why you died. If they say it's heat exposure, well, what was it? Did she go into cardiac arrest? Did her heart stop? Are there any marks or bruises on her body? Did her kidney fail? What does her lungs look like? What's her appendix look like? What's her kidneys look like? What's everything? What's her esophagus look like? Did she have a seizure? Did she choke on her tongue? Did she this? Sorry about the visuals here, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm trying to explain to you all the different possibilities that contribute to a person's death. If somebody died of heat exposure, there's something that happened internally in the body, and we need to understand that organ failure to really understand the true manner of death. Now, I'm not a medical professional, but I can tell you that by doing research, you can learn a lot. The more you read, the more you learn, and you understand science and you understand how the anatomy of the human body works. Now, I'm not any expert on this by any means whatsoever, okay? Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I think froze up here. So what I'm saying is, is they're not telling us the reason. They're saying that it's environmental heat exposure. Somebody says, oh, it's simple. She died because she was too hot, passed out, died. No. It's not that simple. For the human body to fail, a lot of things need to happen. At least a couple or a few. Okay, so they're not telling us the reasons that contributed to it. It says, the ruling indicates that the toxicology analysis has been completed, but the results are not yet available. So whether they say the results are not available, that's a lie. Um, they can get DNA results within days on somebody, okay? I don't know if you guys ever seen true crime shows or where they catch people in 48, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, you can have DNA back uh, within days, a couple days, few days, within a week. It's been a month since Angela died. So the fact that they're saying it's not ready, yeah, that's not true. Uh, they're, they're choosing not to release the information. The ruling, uh, okay, sorry, Tremonte had traveled uh, on uh, July 29th. So the, all the media is basing this story on the statement of Officer Dario Dizdar. They're all reporting it as if it's like a factual-based story and it's all based on his testimony, which he's already, Dario Dizdar has already proven through the videos that I've shown proof that he has contradicted himself at least three times that I count, uh, which demands an investigation into him and his conduct. They need to give him a polygraph test. They need to release his metadata, GPS from his phone. Uh, he also took a ride share. Uh, we don't have any of that information. And now they're telling us, well, she died of heat exposure and the autopsy report is concluded. But, yeah, we haven't released uh, the indicators of that and the information that shows exactly how she died. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, a month later, massive cover-up. Massive. 
get this out there let everyone know that the official reason they're telling us is what we all knew all along that they were going to say some sort of something to do with heat exhaustion heat exposure heat stroke something like that we all knew that was going to happen but in my opinion that didn't happen based on the evidence and based on the testimony of dario Dizdar contradicting himself it shows that he has fabricated and made lies in a story which shows that possibly this entire story is fabricated potentially so please like share get it out there Oh, Mr. Dizdar, you claim that she went down to the car to cool off. Hmm, that's interesting. How do you have your car keys, and why didn't she have the car keys when they found her body? Notice that you'll see in the news headlines, here's an example from ABC. Uh, they always say, uh, Police Officer Dario Dizdar said she reportedly became overheated halfway up the trail, and he decided to turn around and return down to the car while, she con while he continued on the hike. Well, what's interesting about that is the fact that they always report it saying he said, he claimed. They're not saying, well, this is based on an investigation. Here are the facts. Everyone's treating this like this is factual, and it's not. This is his word, and we don't have her, her word. There's two sides to every story, but the pictures don't lie, ladies and gentlemen. These are authentic pictures. He had his car keys. One of the biggest contradictions and holes in his story right there. This guy's busted. Like and share. Share, share, share again, share it everywhere. Share it as many times as necessary.